Hello and welcome back. We're back over on the PTS and I wanted to give you guys a preview of what Bethesda is calling One Wasteland and what it entails. I'm just going to read this straight from their website. Creature levels throughout Appalachia will now adjust up or down on the fly to more closely match the character level of each player they encounter. This means that the creature level, stats, damage, loot, and XP now will all simultaneously adjust to each player that comes across them. For example, imagine you're level 300 and your friend is level 20 while fighting the legendary Fashionaut Magus Sloth. The Sloth having a minimum level of 20 and a maximum of 100 will appeal to be level 20 to your friend and level 100 to you. The damage you deal and the damage you take from the Sloth will be if the creature was level 100. Likewise for your friend, you'll be dealing damage at level 20 and taking damage at level 20. On death, the Sloth will also drop max level and loot and award more XP to you. Your friend will also receive loot and XP appropriate to their level. These changes will open up many opportunities to adventure anywhere in Appalachia together with your friends, regardless of any level gaps between you. Additionally, they will make events like Encrypted, Scorched Earth, etc. accessible to many more players, who can have a more meaningful impact on the outcome of the event without jeopardizing the difficulty. One Wasteland also gives higher level players more reasons to revisit previously lower level areas since creature XP and loot will scale up to better match their character level. Finally, One Wasteland helps smooth out some of the sudden difficulty jumps whenever new players venture away from the forest and into other regions. Now I can comment on that one directly. I was one of the people that left the vault and didn't do none of the storyline. No more than 20 minutes later, wound up in the cranberry ball running from a giant bat. Somehow managed to steal somebody's power armor. Got gunned down. It was a great day. <laughs> but in the video, you can see the mole miners are adjusting to my level. The encrypted. So I can't remember what his level was before this. I know in this, he's 75. But this is just really a five minute long video of hopping all over the wasteland, doing quests, dailies, etc. Showing the scale up. I know they've nerfed all damage in game, which means perk cards. Drugs, foods, guns, etc. has all been nerfed down. Me, I haven't really seen a major difference in my weapons. I've played all day. I've used several different guns, not just my Gatlin Plasma. Everything still seems to die just as quickly as it used to. But... Right at the end of this video, I sort of messed with my perk cards. I equipped the awareness perk card, and when I did, I batched onto an enemy. When you look at him, it says he's level 100. But when you put him in bats with that card equipped, it shows him being at level 80. So, is there something wrong with the visuals? Or like, uh, the enemies aren't leveling properly. And that'd be the reason why they're dying so easily. Personally, I don't care about the uh, uh, nerf. One of the things that bores me the most with the game is just being able to run around and kill every damn thing. I have another video I'm going to upload later showcasing a couple new quests, which are really fun. I'm not going to give away too many spoilers in this one. Now, I had a clip when I was in a cranberry bog and I came across a level 100 rad roach. 
I don't really know what the point is in a level 100 rad roach. They still squish just as easily as any other rad roach. I get stuck on my damn boot and I tracked him all over the wasteland forever. Yeah, and I had to leave this clip in. It's kind of pointless to go through all that trouble and not watch the damn place blow up. And the heart of the swamp was still just a boring fight. The enemies did scale up. You're about to see. 